Madrid City Council held a public competition to rethink the Plaza de Espa in the Moncloa Arvaca district of Madrid, with the goal of revitalizing a significant tourist attraction located near the Royal Palace. The competition sought to transform an urban space with pedestrian priority into a new attractive, iconic, and sustainable plaza that reflects Madrid's values as a city and can be enjoyed by residents and visitors alike. Welcome back to Genesis. In today's video, we'll look at the spectacular Spain's urban project in Madrid. Before we proceed, make sure to subscribe to our channel and click on the notification bell for regular updates. Spain is positioning itself as a prime spot for international companies to relocate their headquarters, offering a combination of culture and high-tech innovation. The project aims to turn Madrid into one of Europe's most important business centers in addition to providing housing and employment options for hundreds of thousands. After the period of severe confinement, the project is a morale booster for Spain's struggling construction industry and is regarded as the largest urban redevelopment endeavor in Europe over the next 10 years. In addition to the four pyramids that pay homage to the city's Moorish past, this development will comprise 10,000 houses, 1.5 million square meters of office space, and 10,000 square meters of retail space. The project will be carried out by Distrito Castellana Norte, DCN, a firm which is owned by BBVA Fundación Bancaria, 75%, Merlin Properties, 14.4%, and Grupo San Jose, 9.5%. The Madrid Nuevo Norte project will cover 3 million square meters along a 5.6 kilometer long strip of land running through the north of Madrid. To give you an idea of its extent, it will occupy a distance equivalent to that between Neptuno Square and Castilla Square. The project is a win-win for both the city and its residents. It will supply new homes, 24% of which are set to be affordable housing units. The total investment budget stands at $8.7 billion and will give the community of Madrid an additional GDP boost of some 230 billion euros over its 20-year lifespan. This in turn will create thousands of jobs for local workers during construction. The construction revolves around the Chamartin railway station and three high-rise buildings, including a joint development between Sareb and Emporis, Greece for one of Spain's most important skyscrapers. It aims to improve connectivity between Madrid and the rest of Spain through improved transport links. Apart from becoming a transport hub, it will also feature an eco-city with green areas and sustainable developments. The project will also provide a major contribution to the structure of the community of Madrid from an economic, social, and territorial perspective. It will integrate the northern districts of the capital with the rest of the municipalities in harmony with their natural environment. This is particularly relevant as it's located an hour's drive from the city center. The new airport in Navasarada has been designed with all these factors in mind. It will be a mobility hub with rapid rail connections to Madrid an energy-efficient one thanks to green technologies such as solar panels, and an environmentally friendly project given its commitment to preserve natural ecosystems like wetlands and ponds. Spain's housing crisis might have been a catalyst for urban living, but it also inspired some of the world's best architects to rethink how to design communal living spaces. One solution was to create dorm-style co-living spaces where individual units share common kitchens and living spaces. The building will include more than 70 affordable units, as well as 25 apartments intended to be intergenerational spaces that encourage communal living for people in all stages of life. The current project includes extending platforms, rebuilding access routes and tracks for high-speed rail, and transiting travelers through underground tunnels and subway connections with Madrid metro stations. The station will be transformed into an urban project with an area of 100 hectares that includes facilities such as a shopping center, exhibition halls, a conference center, five hotels, two schools, and a business center. Every construction project creates jobs for the workers, and in this case it's no exception. The Madrid Nuevo Norte project will create over 117,000 jobs during the construction phase. The deal will take decades to complete. The initial phase of the project will include the creation of a large central park that will be part of a total of 400,000 square meters of green areas and 13 kilometers of bicycle lanes. It's estimated that by the time the work is completed, 
80% of journeys will be made by sustainable transport means. So what do you think about the Madrid project? Let us know in the comment section below. We hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.